Welcome learners to Form 3 Mathematics. Uh, today I would like us to look at a problem here to be doing probability Form 3 work. Let us go through it. We are told that above contains six red balls and four white ones. Six red balls and four white ones. Two balls are picked from the bag at random without, look at this learner, without replacement. Then we are told, draw a tree diagram to represent the above information. We go through it again, learner, so that we are able to draw the tree diagram. Above contains six red balls and four white balls. Two balls are picked, you are picking two. Two balls are picked from the bag at random without replacement. So how do we draw this tree diagram? Lana, you come and draw it like this. You see, this is red and then this is white. So we want to deal with the first picking. I can even write it here. First, first picking, Lana. We are picking out of how many? We had six balls and four balls. So in total, they are ten. Look at this line. We are picking out of ten. So what is the probability of picking a red ball? The red ones are six. So the probability will be six out of ten. So here you come and write six out of ten. What is the probability of picking a white ball? It is four. The number of white balls are four. So it is four out of ten. Look at that line. The red ones are, are six and the white balls are four in the beginning. So the total they are ten. So probability of picking a red is six out of ten. The probability of picking a white ball is four out of the total. We go to the second picking line. Second picking is like that. Second picking, put more branches. So red, this be red, white. Here, red, white, line. So the second picking is here. We can even write it here. This is the second picking. And remember, Lana, once we pick the first one, we are not replacing. So during the second picking here, Lana, you will have how many balls in total? You will have nine. They were 10, you picked one and you put it aside. So you now have a total of 9. I hope you get me right. So what is the probability of picking a red ball, Lana, if you had picked a red ball? If you had picked a red ball, uh, the probability of picking another one now will be 5 out of the total, which is 9. Look at this. First picking, you are picking from when you were 6. Now that you have picked one without replacement, you are left with five red balls out of nine. So what is the probability of picking a white? You had not picked a white, you had picked a red in the first picking. So here, the probability remains four because you still have the four white out of nine. So in this second picking line, the denominator will be nine. The denominator will be nine. We come to this other one. If you had picked a white ball, Lana, if you had picked a white ball, uh, what is the probability of picking a red in the second picking? So you had not picked a red, so the reds are still six, Lana. They are still six out of nine. You had not picked any red, so the red balls are still six, but now out of nine. What is the probability of picking a white if you had picked a white? In the first picking, Lana, the balls were four. So here now they are three. So the probability of picking a white second time is three over nine. I hope you get me right. So Lana, if you look at this branch and this branch here, these two fractions should add up to one. The same case to this and that should add up to one. You can try to check whether you've gone wrong somewhere. The same thing to these other two branches. So, good. So from there, Lana, come and put your possible outcomes. You have RR, the first one may be a red, followed by a, a, a red one for the second picking. Here you can talk of RW, you can pick a red, followed by a white. Here, Lana, 
banner you can pick a white look at that followed by a red and here white white uh, line <coughs> excuse me so those are the four possible outcomes Lana. so we come here to the questions calculate the probability that uh, both balls are white probability that both balls are white Lana. we write it like this probability of white white where is it here we have it so we follow this branch white white we multiply these two fractions 4 over 10 times 3 over 9 4 over 10 times 3 over 9 Lana gives us 12 over 90 you can reduce this by 6 2 by 6 15 so the probability of picking uh, the white balls will be 2 out of 15. There we are, Lana. We go to the second one. What is the probability that both balls are of the same color? Both balls, Lana, are of the same color. So it is either the probability of white, white, or the probability of picking a red, and a red. Okay? So we follow our branches here. White, white, here we are, Lana. White, white. So again, it is 4 over 10 times the other white here is the other point is 3 over 9 just like the way we've done it up here then if you have or here lana you fix plus you replace it with plus then probability of red red you come and follow that branch red 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 lana is 6 over 10 come and fix it here times the other red is 5 over 9 lana okay so from there this gives you what lana this is 12 over 90 plus 30 over 90 lana bring the two fractions together you get 42 out of 90 you reduce by 6 7 by 6 15 so that is the probability uh, that both balls are of the same color 7 out of 15 we go to part 3 Lana we go to part 3 what are you told what is the probability that both balls are of different colors probability that the balls are of different color so it's, it means probability of a red white or probability of a white red Lana look at that again you go and get your red white it is 6 over 10 times what? 4 over 9. Lana. Look at that. 6 over 10, 4 over 9. Mm -hmm. Plus white, red. Follow the branch. 4 over 10, 6 over 9. 4 over 10 times 6 over 9. Lana. You work out this, you get 24 over 90. Plus, this also gives you 24 over 90, which gives you what? 48 over 90. Reduce this Lana. Reducing this, you can divide by 6, you get 8. By 6, you get 15. So, this is 8 over 15. I hope you are still together. Remember, still, you can do it in another way. You can talk of the probability of picking uh, uh, of both balls or being of different colors would you can as well do it as one minus the probability of both being what both being of the same color which is seven over fifteen Lana. this is the other way that you can do it so so i'm saying all here Lana. you can as well do it this way you take one you minus the probability of both balls being of the same color. One minus the probability of both balls being of the same color. This would give you 8 over 15 also. So if you are not sure of this, you can as well follow this method. We go to Roman number 4, Lana. What are we asked? We are asked, what is the probability that at least, look at this, Lana. At least a red ball is picked. At least a red ball is picked. So we are talking, at least it means what line? It means one ball or more. That is grammar. At least a red ball is picked. There should be one ball somewhere or even more red balls. So at least means one or more. So we are talking about the probability of what? We go to our tree diagram here here we have a 
red, one red. Here we have another red here. Here we have two reds. Here we don't have any red. So we are going to use these three. Red, 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 white, white, red. Remember, at least, at least one red means one red or more. That is two. So we come and write it here. It is the probability of red, red or probability of red, white or probability learner of white, red. You come and do the similar method. This is 6 over 10 times 5 over 10. 6 over 10 learner times 5 over 9. Sorry, 5 over 9. Plus red, white. Where is it? Red, white. 6 over 10 times 4 over 9. Yes. Plus white, red. 4 over 10 times 6 over 9. Look at that line. Times 6 over, uh, over what? Line? This is 4 over 10. Sorry. 4 over 10 times 6 over 9. You read accurately. So come and multiply this out. This is 30 over 90. This is 24 over 90 line. And finally, this is 24 over 90. Adding all these uh, fractions, they give you what? 78 over 90. Reduce this line. Reduce this. Maybe you can talk of um, uh, reducing it. You can divide by, by what? By 2, you get 39. By 2, 45. Then you talk of 3. By 3, 13. By 3, 15 line and therefore the probability is 13 over 15 the probability that at least one uh, a red ball is picked at least a red ball is picked so learn go and practice on probability and especially the very first stage learner where you are meant to draw a tree diagram you need to go through this you internalize so that you can be able to answer these questions correctly. So, otherwise, God bless you.